It appears that men are far more susceptible to catching coronavirus based on early data. Here's the data and the science behind that. All right, let's get into that science. This is my favorite part. This just came out in the Lancet. By the way, we have these papers coming out. They're just they're not being peer reviewed because there isn't time. They're just being thrown out there. But this is an emergency, and so really wonderful work is coming out really, really rapidly. And they noted here in this in this study, and this isn't a lot. This is 41 admitted hospital patients, so it's not the biggest sample. But in there, they noted pretty strongly that most of the infected patients were men. That was 30 out of 41. And part of the reason for that may be that the male uh, males have a higher ACE2 expressing cell ratio, and I'll tell you what that is in a second, ACE2 expressing cell ratio than all of the other six female donors. So this is translated from Chinese, so the English is a little um, off here and there, but not bad. So 1.66% versus 0.41% of all cells that they took out of the, the test samples. And in addition, the distribution of ACE2, these receptors, is also more widespread in male donors than females. And this result is highly consistent with the epidemic investigation showing that most of the confirmed NCOV infected patients were men. So this is really interesting. So what is this ACE2 thing? Let's look at this real quick. Um, Angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE, angiotensin converting enzyme. So uh, let's look at what happens with SARS real quick. ACE2 is an, is an enzyme, and it's linked in the membrane. And SARS, this is a SARS virus particle, has a, these little things on its outer surface bind into that. They, they bind, they fit perfectly, like a lock and key, right into that receptor. And then the cell, being a little bit hoodwinked, doesn't know what's going on, finds its receptor full and says, ah, you know what, I'm going to bring that inside, and I'm going to recycle that. Um, and when the cell is trying to recycle it, that actually ends up liberating the, the RNA of the virus so that it can go out and start replicating itself. So it's really critical that this outer coat is binding with this ACE2 receptor. And so this is what a larger vision of what that uh, coronavirus might look like. This is the corona, these uh, spike proteins on the outside. And it's got a variety of things. This is the RNA coiled up inside, which is the piece that's going to replicate it and make a new one of these so that the whole thing can start all over again. So what's, what matters is that these things here, these spike proteins, actually bind to and fit into that angiotensin-converting enzyme uh, a protein that's sitting on the surface of the cell. And those uh, ACE2 receptors are found, not surprisingly, all over the lungs and certain other epithelial tissue. So, so that's why this thing is really hitting the lungs hard in part. So what is angiotensin? Just so you know, because I, I like to... I like to you know, cover all the bases and, and so you just uh, know what, what the dots are and how to connect them. Angiotensin 2, this is, it's a series of eight amino acids in a row. Um, arginine, valine, tyrosine, uh, isoleucine. So the, if you remember your high school, uh, you know, biochem, if you took it, um, this is what the molecule ends up looking like. Uh, it's just these basic amino acids. A lot of people take amino acids for supplements. Well, that's what these are, uh, critical building blocks for proteins and life. And so I just pointed out uh, what this uh, angiotensin really looks like. So that's what's happening. And so if we back up a bit, it looks like uh, males have a higher angiotensin converting enzyme expressing cell ratio. So they've got more of these things. So they're just more susceptible uh, to first getting infected and second for the infection to spread because as those vir virus particles are replicating, they then dump, they burst the cell, they dump out into the bloodstream, and then those are looking for a new place to go and replicate. So um, men seem to be a little more susceptible to this, so it makes uh, sense. So we're starting to figure this out. I love that part, knowing what it is, because that gives us a chance at figuring out how to combat it. It gives doctors a better chance for treatment, and it tells uh, you know, us a little bit more about what's going on. So the summary for today, the WHO totally dropped the ball. Hey, it's, an, it's a big emergency, but not enough to cause us to stop global trade or travel. Thanks, WHO. Uh, way to go there. The media, just as bad as ever on this story right now. I don't understand why, but they're starting to you know, take pot shots at uh, people who are trying to get the information out there for reasons that don't uh, make sense to me. The China news, really exceedingly hard to get right now. I can guarantee you it's worse than advertised, and that's why they're clamping down on it. The official stats coming out of China, guaranteed, they are bogus, almost certainly way too low. 
Uh, but, you know, we're going to take them and go with them because what else we got? And But this bear is repeating over and over and over again. Uh, NCOV is worse than the flu. SARS. Anything else that's come along since the Spanish flu. All right. I've run a little long today. I hope you stayed through it. I just wanted to get through a lot of material. Thanks for listening.